And welcome to another episode of the Art Patient. As you can see, we are now in the completed <coughs> studio, garage gym, call it what you want, place to train. I'll be giving you a guided tour of some of the uh, equipment and um, what I think about the equipment as it's all um, got different branding. Okay, so let's get going. So we've got here a, um, I've got here a pulse leg curl, fully adjustable. Um, <clears throat> it's a great way to warm up the long head and short head of the back biceps. Biceps, back biceps are in your legs, not in your arms, guys. Long head, short head, um, semi tendinosis, semi membranosis, for those of you who want Latin names. Uh, the pulse machine, very good, lovely little machine. Like I say, it helps you warm up the back biceps before you go on to glutam. This machine, uh, some of you will have seen from the very early days when it was uh, <clears throat> in my shed. It's been absolute workhorse. Um, ladies, if you ever use a glue term, you will have a bum and legs to die for. This is one machine um, <clears throat> I spend a lot of time on. It's a, a worthy move, a totally worthy move, worth learning 100%. Um, you will probably never do an exercise much harder than a gluteum exercise. Um, that's gluteus and hamstrings. Hamstrings being the farmer's term, back biceps is the, the name you'll hear me use constantly. And there you go, Glutam by Atlantis. Absolutely um, been a brilliant, absolutely workhorse machine. Workhorse. Okay, um, got a calf machine here by Force Fitness. Um, standing calves, very good. I've been doing so. I've been doing my calf work on the stairs with the belt around my waist. Uh, um, with plates through the belt, um, a dipping belt around my waist and it's nice to be able to have a standing calf machine. Lap machine, low pulley row by Precore. Um, great for the back, you can even do triceps on it and you can do low pulley, that's why it's got such a long seat. Um, and there's a fairly hefty weight stack but more than enough for me pre-core this was brand new we've got a watson leg extension watson great brand um, lovely machine um, again use a leg extension before we squat or belt squat just as a warm-up just as a warm-up I've got a Watson uh, deadlift platform as you can see with my Avancos on it. You'll have to excuse that dog, somebody set another dog off. Lots of people at work with their dogs in the gardens. Um, Watson, absolutely beautiful, lovely bit of kit. Watson platform for the deadlift. Little Watson badge there. For deadlifting, deadlift, lovely move again. We um, we don't try and lift the world here. You know, um, exercise style is of all importance here. Got a, my cage was a strength systems cage, very good. Uh, been performing well up to yet. I like the fact that it's numbered. I can use bands when I squat, you can use bands when you bench press and you can do it 
in complete safety and I like the uh, chin in bars with the neutral and the angle position in the pronation. Very good. Same company, Strength Systems, made the reverse IPA that I have here. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, very good. Um, reverse IPA takes compression out lower back when we've uh, squatted. Um, as made famous by the NFL and Louis Sims, the powerlifter made the design famous and brought it to um, a lot of people's attention again strength systems um, there you go that's all to be said about that um, actually takes the wind out of here when you use it um, a very good move here i have a um, <clears throat> A belt squat, these are rare. This is ATX from Germany. I looked at the Matt Wendell one and um, it was um, just a bit, I just thought it was a bit too expensive for me. And um, along came this one, ATX. I'd already looked at them and um, this is a beautiful machine to use. Um, the red bar. There's the belt. Um, the attention to detail because it's German is incredible. Um, the build quality far exceeds Strength Shop. Um, that's the brake. Um, it's loaded up so I won't move it. Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely lovely machine, belt squatting. Um, again, you won't find this machine in a high street gym, I do doubt. More for, you probably find it in a, I don't know, they're quite rare machines. You might find it in a powerlifting gym. But again, um, it teaches you how to squat correctly and involves the hips and how to use the hips. And again, you can see the band pegs, guys. Um, it's just covered in dust. We've got band pegs as well on this machine, should you need it. Um, a lovely machine, absolutely brilliant. You can even move the brake to the other side, should you wish to. Uh, my plates are beautiful. I've had them some time now. Um, I like to invest um, in good equipment. These are Vancos, are calibrated as you can see within five grams. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, and you'll see most of my discs are a Vancos. I have a few Yorks, but uh, mostly a Vanco. Um, the bar is an Oki power bar, it's an entry level power bar and it's zinc coated and it's been great. Um, we have had 205 kilos on the bar and it's bent and bent back like it was designed to. Um, a very very underrated bar. Um, the Oki power bar um, would I recommend one? most definitely I'd recommend an Oki power bar to anyone who's serious about their training um, again calibrated Ivanko's at 15 um, we have the um, Iron Master dumbbells um, I don't think I've uh, spoke about these um, I love this set guys it's um, it's been brilliant to use they're called the uh, quick lock system it's 
the quick lock system and you just turn in grooves it's threaded it's threaded on one side and that's it um, lifetime guarantee guys these dumbbells look at that table that table is something you'd see in a um, motor GP garage is it not what a different table that is look at the space it takes up what a lovely space saving system this is um, I tried power blocks and I didn't like them far too big for my hands I just never got on with power blocks I know there's a lot of guys who like them and that's great we're all individuals aren't we uh, I tried uh, Bowflex by Nautilus, Nautilus Arm Bowflex, for those of you who don't know. And when I started to look into Bowflex, um, I quickly realised there are little bits of plastic involved in the design of their dumbbells. And um, these plastic tends to get hard and dry and brittle and shatters. And uh, that was the number one complaint when I looked. And I came across an advert for Iron Master, an American company. They look American, they're in pounds. This is a 75 pound set, guys. You can get an extension, guys. They just make these longer. So you can get an extension. You'd have to look what it takes you up to, because I'd be guessing, but these are more than enough for me. Uh, each dumbbell is uh, 75 pounds. And uh, there's still a few more in the house. Of the plates uh, what won me over with this was the idea of his space saving these really feel guys these feel like a dumbbell as well guys they feel like a dumbbell you know and they're really easy to use they are in fact quick locking um, and a lifetime warranty I seen a guy on YouTube advertising them and they had them on the range and he was shooting the dumbbell with a Barrett uh, high performance rifle and I thought I will have a bit of that for my gym because nobody will be able to break these dumbbells like I say I've, um, everybody who's used them has been very happy with them um, for obvious reasons guys I never wanted a complete set of dumbbells that just sit there and you've only ever got one set out at a time and um, so I chose the Iron Master dumbbells there you go the cable machine is a techno gym Techno Gym rose to fame about 10 years ago. Big advertising campaign with their equipment. Um, and this serves for tricep push downs and low pulley rows and various other things, adductor work, abductor work that you might want to do. You know. um, again, very smooth. Come out of one studio and into another one. So there you go guys pretty big place um i've got a stationary bike as well where we'll be teaching collateral circulation you know i'm a massive fan of um, collateral circulation and cycling how to re-establish and regrow arterioles in your heart yes you heard me say it uh, the first seven months out of hospital, like I keep saying, guys, are so, so important. That's the time, if you're a heart patient, to, um, to certainly get on your bike and start exercising and establish collateral circulation. Um, I have made a video about it. I think it was called Why You're Not Told This, but we probably will release it because it's such a big and important part of um, re-establishing and generating your recovery.